Greetings, minor model maniacs. Panzer Man Bill, Panzer Man's Bunker, coming to you with update ski number two of the Say Cheese Flash Group Build. Hosted by the non prolific 135th scale modeler and fellow Sparsonosis. Alright, over to the TV monitor. Alright, there's Talon. Talon, take a little snooze under the table. You tell, tell, tell. There's Fang. <laughs> There's Fang under the chair. <laughs> Hi, Fang, Fang. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, town's up and about. All right, there's the boys over the screen. Ah! All right, part two. I had some wear and tear to the fenders. Did the same to the back, dented up the side fender. All right, everything's base coated. Everything's Russian green, Vallejo. All right, black washed all the recesses. Typical preparations for uh, you know, painting and finishing a model. Did the old school method of heating up a screwdriver and melting the pins down the tracks. Alright, road wheels, poly caps, and tracks are all on. I'll just show you on the model what I had to do with this. And then the final bits are ready for paint. All the little, uh, little accoutrement, you know, uh, fuel cans and such. Alright. Alright, on to the model. Alright, over to the models. Ah. Yeah, Bella looking good. <laughs> Alright, I got the uh, got some tracks on here. I had to do some stretching. As the tracks to make some fit. I got the road wheels and some poly caps on. Only painted. I got the feathers in. I got the feathers of tracks. Had to put a space up back here to fill up a gap. This part right here. And when I put the tracks on, since they were so tight, they were pulling this wheel back to hit this road wheel. Because the metal pin, this metal rod right here, there's a slot. And it was pulling back with the tension, so I had to put some styrene and plug up this hole on both sides to push this rod back forward so I'd have the right spacing. Yeah, yeah. So I do a little bit of that, and then, uh, like I said, I'm gonna get back to do the weathering on this, and then we'll get then we'll get ready for the final assembly. All right, the turret. I got some more painting done on it, some more weathering, charring effects, and everything on the sides. You know, got the shell hit right here and everything. So that's looking good. Yeah, Bill's looking good. <laughs> that's right here, Hood. The teeth of the road looks very beat up. The Panzer, Panzer Waffe put a hurting on it. Yeah, yeah. Shut up! Alright, like I said in the uh, slideshow, I weathered up the tank a bit. Dented up the fenders and such. Made some shell hits on the front here, right up here. More weathering on the fenders. Look down the side here. I started putting the uh, toolboxes on, the horn, the shovels. With a blow through right here, broke some of the shovels up. Shattered the uh, front lens of the uh, searchlight or the headlight. I put a little tarp on back here. Put some fuel tanks, external fuel tanks on. Same thing back here. I got the uh, toolboxes and everything on the sides. Still got to put on some tracks, got to weather them up, and then I got to put on some final little details on here. The uh, MP40 for the uh, commander, definitely, because in the photograph he had an MP40 laying on the deck right up here. But it's coming along, the weathering looking pretty good. I still got to do quite a bit of weathering left, and then we'll be ready for the final assembly, and then we'll take the final photograph and then we'll do black and white and make it look as good close as to the to the photograph that I'm trying to replicate. Yeah Bill's looking good. <laughs> so right here head. This is going to be a good good one here. Wunderbar. Alichna I mean Alichna Robota as the Ruskis would say. Yeah yeah da da <laughs> shut up Alright fellas keep working keep building keep having fun boys are zapped out they're tired. Had a hard day of doing nothing. <laughs> They're getting huge. Right, guys?
All right, guys, keep building, keep having fun. Panzerman Bill, out.